Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Tuesday, November. When do we got? November 19th. Feels like a Bob Seeger song today. Here I am on the road again. There I am. Up on the stage, here I go, playing star again, there I go, turn the page. Good little song that, Bob Seger. Lots of different meanings there. I think about that song a lot when uh, I'm on my bike. Relates to trading a lot, turning the page. Uh, anyway, I digress. Let's take a look at the markets today, what's going on, how we're going to make some more money. Um, calendar looks pretty bleak. Certainly in the European session, we've got industrial uh, releases out of Italy. No one cares. Current account out of uh, Europe. Nobody cares. Uh, and then the U.S., we've got housing stuff. We've got building permits, housing starts. Fed, uh, Williams will be speaking. Um, not much going on on the calendar. Bank of Canada, Wilkins, is speaking at the end of the evening. So uh, we're going to rely on flow and technicals today and uh, the stock market and, you know, our comments from our fearless, fearless Western leaders and... Chinese puppets. So let's see where we are. Um, first, let's look at Euro. We've been talking about this sort of upstairs behavior. Uh, last night, we got up to 90. It's a good place to pause for a little bit. Some sideways action could be on the cards here. We've been 62.80 overnight. You want to try and pick this up. Uh, between 55 and 35 today if you get down there otherwise you can stick with your core longs but one thing you can do today is sell high ones um, so looks like there's a fair chance we get through 90 today now it's a triple top um, you can sell between 12 and 22 on the 111 handle today and for us, we're going to look to replace those back down at uh, between 02 and 92. But you could argue that now you've sort of caught 100 points on this move. Uh, take your profit and move on. One of the reasons we're not, uh, we don't think this is over, is we think Dollar Swiss is brewing here. Uh, through 70 and through 40 are interesting to us. Let's draw a couple lines that we think the marketplace will be drawing. Here's one, sort of more medium term. Uh, here's the second, which is more, uh, you know, from the from the lows. This medium term line looks looks a little sexier. People are going to like this more. I have a feeling that's going to be 70, right? 68. Last night we traded 69, uh, we kind of dogied, uh, we like this lower, of course short is the way. Um, we add through 70 and then we, um, we're going to take a fair swing at this through 40, 98, 40. So we've been preparing mentally for this and uh, we're going to be ready to roll on this, especially if... Um, bonds turn a bit, U.S. yields go a little bit lower, or there's some global macro stuff, could be, could come from anywhere, uh, the obvious place is Hong Kong, but could come from anywhere, so we're watching this, right now, because Euro Swiss is so big, we're a little bit cautious, but um, we think this Euro Swiss price action is a bit silly probably sell this uh, up against this 76 resistance but surely you can sell it up on the one near the 110 handle so but you do need euro swiss to be turning lower for dollar swiss to get ahead of steam this is just 
this is just truth. So with when Euro Swiss is bid, you have to be cautious. Uh, certainly selling low ones in dollar Swiss. So right now we wouldn't sell low ones, but we do expect this to turn as we get closer to 70, and we do expect this to be going lower uh, quite aggressively if and when we get through 40. What else we got out there? We got dollar yen, which also turned. Didn't really um, make a new low. We would have had to get through 36. The low today has been 46. The low from um, the last Thursday's move was 25. But the most important low, the equivalent of the 98.40 low in dollar Swiss is 107.92. Through that, um, you know, you can let the dogs out of bed, I think. Uh, 107.90, we'll call it. Aussie not doing much. I was thinking yesterday, um, Aussie's lagging, right? They had that crappy employment number, and then these trade talks look like they're rubbish. Aussie should have gone down, but it's just not really doing much. We had minutes out last night, which were not super revealing. Um, not sure what to do with Aussie, but it did strike me yesterday that Aussie should have been lower. But yet it wasn't, uh, and maybe the best way to be short Aussie is is be long Euro Aussie. Although you might be a little bit late to the game there. As you can see, this is pretty much the same chart as um, as Euro Dollar. A little more juice in it, but remember Aussie points versus dollar points, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is the equivalent. One sixty three oh six is the equivalent of ninety in Euro Dollar. So. If you want to be a little more exotic today, instead of um, selling dollar Swiss, if you want to just get long euros and you think 90 is going to break and it might be interesting, this Euro Aussie uh, is worth a look. It's a trendy beast, Euro Aussie, as you can see. It, it trends pretty well. So we started this sucker at 160, now we're at 163. Um, this thing can trend. Like, look at this one over here, 159, all the way up to. Uh, 168. Keep an eye on Euro Aussie, uh, especially if you prefer Aussie points and, or if you're Australian or whatever, you live down in that part of the world. Euro Aussie looks pretty robust. Quickly look at gold. Sideways action here. It's really deciding. This could go either way. Um, if stocks go higher and bonds go lower, gold will go lower. Uh, but if stocks turn and bonds go a bit lower, gold um, is going to pop again. So we don't have a dog in this fight right here at 1470. We're sort of in the middle of nowhere. Um, but one thing we will be doing is we will be going short through 1446 just because we know there's going to be tons of risk down there. Um, so be careful of that level if we if we get down there and see it. Equities, doji yesterday. It didn't turn out to be a perfect doji. 1850 would have been perfect, but just sort of a mildly bullish day. Um, we've been 15, 3 quarters, 25 overnight. We're right in the middle of that. Um, you know, the parameters for yesterday were 20, 27 and a half, I believe, 27 and 3 quarters, and then um, 3111. Tough selling low ones in equities, um, and so today we will we will try smaller amounts at 3111. But we really needed to get we really need this stuff to get ahead of steam um, in order to be comfortable selling low ones. So if we see it below 31, the figure then we'll put on a proper sort of bear strategy. Otherwise, today. Um, you can sell high ones. Where are the high ones today? Let's call it 31.34 to 31.38. Um, that's your tactical uh, day trade uh, short on um, on ES. Dollars are middle of nowhere. Um, up to 83. Now we're at 80. You can see we're just consolidating here between these. 50 lows, which were the lows just before the bad news came out last week or two weeks ago. And so let's say the highs are actually 1549. So we're at the bottom of this consolidation period. 
Um, we do like buying low ones in dollars are, but right now we're square. Um, and we're just kind of waiting and watching. What else is out there? Not a whole heck of a lot. Dollar CAD's making some new lows. Um, should be some, some, you know, sideways action, I think, um, around 130, 195. So I don't expect Dollar CAD to fall out of bed. Crude was making a little bit of a dipsy do yesterday. What's what's going on, crude? A lot of guys are talking about crude because of the buildup of spec positions. We almost bearish engulfed yesterday. Don't know what to do with crude, but I do know the market's getting long. A lot of participants in the Middle East are just getting long with the idea that Saudi is going to force this thing up uh, over the next 30 days heading into the uh, Aramco IPO. No dog in this fight, uh, just letting people know there is going to be a buildup of spec positions. We like that because um, that typically normally always blows up. And when it does blow up, there's be some money to be made. So let's watch crude and, and let's kind of hope for a push up to 62 or 65. Um, God bless the Saudis if they can pull that off. Uh, get their little Aramco. Um, Earth destroying IPO out of the way, collect their money, um, and then we'll see what oil does. Then I think what is likely to happen, oil will take a nosedive and there'll be some money to be made. Anyway, uh, that's I've said enough today. Playing with the euro top side, that euro Aussie level is worth a look, and we are looking at this dollar Swiss level. Uh, 98.70 is the first level, but the big, big level is 98.40. Good luck out there, people. I will talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.